Good morning and happy Monday and welcome to week two of virtual learning. It's going swimmingly. So today um, our school district literally just sent out an email thing early this morning or late last night that they were going to move all of the online meetings to Zoom because they had a lot of Teams problems. And so everyone was going to be moving to Zoom I think as of like Wednesday. Some classes had already moved over. Other classes were still on teens, so it was kind of just in flux, but we're like all going to Zoom. Then this morning for two hours, Zoom was down across the United States because it was overloaded. So then of course all the parents were like, great. So it's finally up working now. Isabella has been having technical issues because her class had already moved to Zoom like early on last week because they were having teens issues. But um, anyhow, I think she was able to get one class in so far this morning, but she's had a few hours to kind of read and just hang out. Because that's the other system, the whole state of Alabama, I think, is using Schoology. I don't know how to say that, but it was down as well. So the teachers weren't able to upload assignments and just, you know, all kinds of technical issues this morning. But we're making it through, so happy second week of virtual learning. So I'm trying to get little pockets of work done in here, and I've got a couple projects that I'm trying to get scooted out today um but yeah we're just making the most of being a home and and all of these new things so um i am getting emails and um, i am going to try to take care of those but we'll take you along for our day and just share this adventure with you I'm taking a quick break and i think all the kids are working on their different classes or at least it's gone quiet like they are so hopefully they're getting the work done mr penguins is out there enjoying the great outdoors on his own <laughs> there's mickey and spin working together how's it going in here good you doing your class no one's talking. Do you have homework you're supposed to be doing? Uh, you don't know? <laughs> well, I'm doing it right now. No one's talking. I'm reading it out loud. Like well, I think you're supposed to be reading it on your own. Did you have something with jam on it? What you got all over your face? Well, that was easy. Cinnamon. <laughs> okay. So they are finishing up with their day of school, and I have got a bunch of note cards that I've got to go, like written out note cards that I've got to go mail for work. I was sitting here working on writing them out and I've gotten stamps on all of them and I've got to go take them to the post office to mail them out. Um, so I'm going to take Natalie with me to go do that so we can go drop those off and get them in the mail and then we'll get back here in time for dinner. So it's just, um, I don't know, today has been a challenge because of all the technical issues. And we think that they missed some classes, but we're not really sure, but we're just trying to do the best that we can because that's all that you can do. I wanted to share these also because I got these when I went to Costco this weekend and they were kind of, they don't have holiday stuff out yet, but they kind of had like a little end cap that had a whole bunch of different ribbons. Some of them looked very Christmassy, but I got this one, which is a really pretty like fall themed one. And I got this one, which is a pretty peacock feather themed one. Actually fun story. Our our Christmas tree has sometimes in the past been peacock themed so these are so big this is actually 50 yards worth of ribbon and actually the ones that I get at the store I think are like 15 yards so it's like three times as much so I think I'm gonna be able to get like a wreath out of these and probably some extra bows and probably all kinds of different things. So I'm planning on making a wreath with both of them. Obviously this one will be a fall wreath. This one will kind of be an all season one is what I'm planning on doing. But if I have enough of this left over or I might just go, look at how much that is. That's a ton of ribbon. I think I'm gonna have enough left over to do a wreath and then also be able to put some of this on a Christmas tree as well. So we'll see. I'm planning on putting up a couple Christmas trees this year and I thought I would just go ahead and do one peacock theme because I have the ornaments for it and everything so I'm hoping I mean look at how much ribbon that is that's that's a crazy amount I think that there'll be enough here to do a at least a wreath at least one wreath I think probably multiple wreaths and also put it on a Christmas tree but I could always go back and get more but long story short these giant spools of 50 yards of ribbon 
were only like $6.99 or $7.99, which is a crazy price. Because I was paying like $9.99 for ribbon, which granted a lot of times is 40% off, but for 15 yards. So this was a really phenomenal deal. Did you change clothes again? I, no, not really. It's still the same pants. But you have a different dress on? I think that's changing clothes. What do you think, Penguin? <laughs> You just want popcorn, don't you? <laughs> we have, besides a gigantic mess from lunch, we have uh, popcorn sitting here on the table, which he really loves. You matching with your doll? You even have matching hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like your dress. Very nice. Aw, not really because of the pants. Is she wearing pants too? Yes, yeah, she's got pants on too, so you do very much match. We got all the note cards dropped off at the post office, and we are gonna just pop into Home Goods real quick and see if they have any Halloween stuff. It's still a little early because it is August, but I seriously am planning on decorating the first week of September because I'm just ready and we're home, so we're gonna enjoy it. But, um, you know, I'm looking for a few specific things. Well, I do. A lot of years I do decorate that early a lot of years. But we're doing it like super early this year for Halloween and Christmas. So there's a couple things I'm looking for specifically. So we'll just see if they have any other Halloween stuff. We're just checking. They started getting Halloween stuff in. So we have a Home Goods Halloween haul when we get home. It was just a little bit. And no Ray Dunn stuff, of course, because it's impossible to find around here. But we got a throw blanket for the couch and a vase that I'm going to put like a, some sticks of pumpkin that I'd already gotten. I'm going to toss those down in there. And um, Natalie got a snow globe with a unicorn in it. And we got a bunch of placemats, some kitchen towels, some sprinkles, just some fun little things to get us started. So we'll show you everything when we get home. And we have words beside us. And we have what beside us? Birds. Oh yes, there's Look birds the all over the parking lot. That's because they left, someone left that. Someone who left food over there, so they're trying to get that? That's actually kind of helpful. Okay, so we've got a bit of a home goods haul for you, our first one of the Halloween season. So there's a couple breakable things in here and a couple things in here. They really did not have a ton out, but we did find some things that we thought would work well out of what they did have out. So first things first, I got this throw just to put on the back of the couch. I really liked all the colors and actually Natalie helped pick this out. And we thought because it had a black background and then the oranges and the reds, we could keep it out through Halloween and also going through the fall and it's an oversized throw. They like having these on the backs of the couch to snuggle up. So we got that as an option for that. I also got these cute little bat towels. I wanted to get these while I could find them. I'm really loving bats this year. I'm going to get some of those bats, I think, from Grandin Road to put on the walls, too. So I thought that those would be fun to have in the kitchen. Then we got two of these little tins. So over the weekend, I saw one little, like, trick-or-treat one like this that was wood. But they wanted, like, $25 for it, which I just thought was, like, too expensive. I think that was at... I think it was out of Marshall's that I happened to be at over the weekend. And they really didn't have that much. So then I saw these and they this was $6.99 and I liked the copper accents on this. So I got that one and I got these to sit next to each other. And there's a second one, a little bit larger one. And it is actually kind of copper overall and it says trick or treat. And I thought this was cute because I can kind of set them next to each other and kind of pair them up. And I like that they're kind of coordinating, but not exactly the same. So that's what those two look like next to each other. So I've got to get some little LED candles or something to put in those. But I thought those were really super cute. And then I got some placemats for both of our tables. We use these at our dining room table a lot. Just this kind of mesh material. And I like that these are a little bit sparkly. You can kind of see the sparkles in there. So that one's for our dining room table, and then I use these round ones for our round table in our dining kitchen. And Natalie loved these. She thought they were really super cute. And these were the only ones that they had, so it's kind of one of those deals where you have to get it when you see it because they may not happen again. You guys know how that goes. And then there's a couple breakable things down in here. So I'll get these unwrapped. 
So this vase I got just in general. It's kind of the blue color that I have all over my house. But I have these long pumpkin sticks that I think I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm hoping that they'll be perfect down inside of here. So I'm going to try to get some filler and put those pumpkins in it as well. And I just really like this. It was only $14.99 as well. So that's kind of a good year-round piece. And then we also got some sprinkles. I like getting my seasonal sprinkles at Home Goods for whatever reason. And then Natalie picked out this little unicorn snow globe for her room. She's been eyeing these snow globes every single time we're in there and they happen to have this unicorn one. So she got this for her room. Fingers crossed it lasts for a little while. So anyhow, this is our Home Goods haul. It was about $99 worth of stuff. Um, it doesn't really look like that much, honestly, for $99, but the placemats are kind of expensive because they're, I think, like $13 for each set. And then we got the throw for the couch, too, so I think this is kind of nice. I think that these were the best deal because they're kind of, you know, really cute pieces and they weren't too expensive. And I got the vase that I can kind of use you around. So there is our home goods haul, our first Halloween haul really of the season. We'll have a couple more as well. I'm also planning on putting an order to probably michaels.com online and also Grandin Road online as well. So I'll share those hauls when they get here so too. The other thing that came today was a Sephora box and I'm actually going to do a whole video on this because I'm going to try these out and then I'm going to share my opinions on these. So I had been using, um, I get wipes from all over the place. So I have a Target brand I get sometimes. I've gotten these Sephora watermelon ones and I like them, but I've noticed since I started using the it cosmetics at night, it seems like sometimes they don't get everything off my face and I'll get like makeup residue on my pillows, which obviously is probably not good because it means it's sitting on my face too. So I thought this would be an interesting experiment. So I'm gonna test out a number of makeup wipes and see if I can see a noticeable difference. So I got these watermelon ones. I got these, which are supposed to be really good. They're the Kojin Dough. And they are, you know, like there's tons of reviews and they're supposedly really, really good. So I'm gonna try these out and let you know what I think. And I also got the Shiseido ones and I'm gonna try these out as well. So I'm gonna do a whole video as far as kind of a splurge or save and what's worth it. I thought that would be an interesting thing to try out because I was planning on doing that anyways. And then my other little thing in this haul is I got some Urban Decay spray. So I'll share that in an upcoming video. I'm gonna test them out over this week and then I'll probably share the video next week. But um, I got this little haul of items and I will be comparing these to let you know what I think. So if you use any of these and you really particularly like one, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you use and really like. I've never tried these two, so I'm going to be interested to try them out and to see that if they're any better than like less expensive ones. So give, to give you an idea, these are all makeup wipes. Um, the Target ones are probably about $3 per package, and I'll go over how many wipes are in each with the exact numbers. This was about $8 for 25 wipes. These were about... 20 or 30 dollars and these were about 60 dollars for makeup wipes so this is definitely something that i'm trying to figure out for myself whether it's worth splurging on or not and i want it to work really really good and work really well with my face if i'm going to spend that kind of money on makeup wipes but i do also have an issue with it doesn't seem like the makeup wipes are remove are removing all the makeup so i want to see if any of these kind of do a better job with it too um, so that's what I'm kind of aiming for and I will follow up and let you know what I think um, But I'm hoping that one of these will end up being a better option uh, So we'll see fingers crossed. I really love the it cosmetics makeup like it's what I'm wearing right now And I've still worn it even after I've been home um, When I was working in the office it worked really well because it would stay on your face and it you know You could wear makeup all day long with really minimal touch-ups but the one thing about it is it is the type of makeup where if I like lean against my face and then I touch something, I'll end up with like makeup on papers at my desk and stuff like that. So that's the only downside that I have with it. But to me, the benefits outweighs the kind of negatives about it. So that's why I've kept wearing it and just kind of put up with the fact that I kind of get it on things sometimes. And also it seems like I've had this issue with it not coming off all the way at night. But I'm hoping that if I can find like a wipe that just works really, really well with it, then maybe I can just stick with that and you know be good to go. Also, Sephora just did a sale. Just in the interest of full disclosure, 
they did um like a welcome back coupon code it's not good anymore but they did that in august and so i did use that on these two because i figured if i'm going to try it out and kind of take a risk on not knowing how well something's going to work or whether it's worth the money you might as well do it when you have a coupon code so i got like 20 bucks off so that's good um anyhow i'm going to start putting some of this halloween stuff away until it's time to put it out into the house and I think Natalie's gonna help me by dusting. It is dinner time, and I'm going to make pork chops for dinner tonight and get those going real quick so we can eat. So I'm preheating the oven for zucchini rounds, and I've got some pork chops that I'm going to do here in the pan. And I've just put some of this nature's seasonings, and I just do like a little bit of olive oil on them. And they turn out really, really well because they just cook in the olive oil. I'm also going to put some olive oil here on this. So I'm just going to try to drizzle a little bit over these and do some salt and pepper. I've got the oven preheating. And I'm just going to do a little bit over these. When you do the pork chops with the olive oil, it just helps them hold the flavor in. It makes them really nice and juicy. So get that all in there bit of the garlic on there and I'm out of garlic salt I need to put it on the grocery list while I remember it because I keep trying to use it for different recipes and I'm out of garlic salt so I'm just sprinkling a little bit of the shaved parmesan that I use on pasta and different dishes over the top here I'm going to try to get the little finer pieces to put on here and then stick it in the oven for five minutes and this will be good to go so all of this is done I'm going to pop it on plates and we'll be ready for dinner I got everything on the plates and we are going to go grab dinner real quick and then it'll be time for showers and our end of the evening routine. So that is it for our evening. Hopefully you enjoyed following along. I feel like every day is kind of a little bit of Groundhog's Day with a little bit of different sprinkle then, but there's only so much you can do about that with being at home all the time. Um, but at least some things are open and that sort of thing, but we will be vlogging more later this week our second week of school and just sharing as we go along. So hopefully you guys are having a good back to school season if you are headed back to school as well. And thanks for watching today. See you in another video very soon. Bye.